Um, Duquesne is a is a tough team. They're a relentless team. I, I, I told our guys last night that they're dangerous when they get down because I watched them battle back against Rhode Island. They were down the entire game, 19 points. Then they battled back and came back and stole that game. They almost got us. I felt like um, towards the end, their pressure, because they pressed us the entire game, wore our guys down. We got, we got tired. So we, we had a couple of errors late in the game. But when we needed to make big plays at the end, our guys stepped up and made huge, huge plays. Um, and, and, I'm, and I'm just proud that our guys fought for 40 minutes. And, and, I'm, and I'm proud of this guy. He, he's been in this situation uh, a lot of times. And, and for him to, 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 to come through with the, with the big play at the end for us it, is, is very deserving. And, and, I, and I'm just, uh, just proud and happy that he's able to have this moment. I was dribbling down, you know, I already knew coach was going to call a spread for me and, you know, let me make a play. So, you know, usually I settle for the step back jumper or a three, but I knew I needed to get to the basket. So I just went to the basket hard and, you know, just finished the play. What was the design play set? Was it to get the ball in your hands or was that kind of As we just got down court, you know, I just knew, you know, I wanted the ball, you know, I wanted to make the big play, so I was just ready for it. Being, being a senior, you know, and this kind of being your big moment, so far as a senior, you know, is that something you were prepared for mentally for this uh, kind of thing? Uh, you know, I'm prepared for every situation. So, you know, at the end of the day, it was just another play, and I just, you know, wanted to make the best play that I can do. Anything else for Pookie? That's it. Thank you. All right, cool. All right, Pookie. Yeah. I said you when I saw you, I seen you. You know what? I um after after that Atlantic City tournament, I had hope. <laughs> you know, because we played well. We had won two games in a row. We had our full team and, and we were just a different team at that point. Um I expect these guys to win every game. You know, I'm not I'm not going into into any game in our conference schedule feeling like we're we're inferior. You know, I just you know, I, I respect every every single team in our league. We have some great coaches in our league. We have um we have a, a league that has a lot of young talent, but but I think if, if we bring it um every game that, that we'll have a chance to win every single game in the league and and even the games that the five games that we lost, you can you can look at each one of those games as a possession here, a possession there that was the difference in the game. And um, you know, today, you know, we just we just had the fortune go our way, where Pookie made a, a huge play at the end. Um, but but in games past this season, it was a missed shot that, and and we were, you know, we were we were on the on the receiving end of the L. So I'm just happy that our guys are continuing to to, to stick together, continuing to believe in each other, and and wins like this today, I, I think, can only help their confidence moving forward. Yeah, because there ha there's not a situation that we haven't addressed. O other than blowing a, a 10 point lead with three minutes left and we'll address that tomorrow, um, which we did tonight. <laughs> so so every, every situation that we've addressed, I feel like we've gotten better. And, and now we're at the point of the season where, you know, we're, we're playing, you know, the, the top half of the league so, you know, our, our guys have to bring the maximum effort every game now because, you know, you know the significance of, of every game uh, with, with the seeding and, and so forth and so on is, is, is huge, man. So. With 16 boards from Ed Croswell, 10 of them being on the offensive glass, I mean, talk about his progression as a player from the time he stepped foot on campus to, you know, tonight. Well, well Eddie, Eddie had, to, had to first get in shape. Like when he first got on campus, man, like he was, you know, he was heavy, and and we and we really worked on trimming him down so that he would be able to play, 
long stretches, you know? So now he's in the best shape of his life so he can actually play hard for longer extended periods of time. And I think that's what's helped him more than anything. Um, he's always had a nose for the ball. Um, you know, that, that was his thing in high school. He was a relentless rebounder. And, and rebounding is one of those traits that, that translates at every level, right? So he's just showing us that, you know, he can, you know, he can rebound with the big boys. And, you know, today we needed every last one of those rebounds that he got today to give us a shot to win it. And I'm just, I'm just proud of him. And I, and I hope that, you know, he continues to, to play with the confidence that he's playing with. I've, I've looked at him a lot more that we started winning, <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, uh, you know, obviously now as, as, as you're playing, you know, all the team, like, like Duquesne, we hadn't played them before. So, you know, you, you, wanna, you wanna know where you stand. Like, you know, the, the, the conference tournament is approaching in, 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 um, in a little over a month and, and, and we, you know, we're playing for something now. So, you know, we wanna make sure that that, that we know what's at stake every game. I want to make sure that I know. I don't want our guys worrying about it. I want our guys just worrying about getting better and us trying to be the best team that we can be by the time we get to Brooklyn. Um, but, but for me, it's, it's important that, that I have a good idea of where we, where we stand just so I know where the program is right now. Would you say Cincinnati's playing the best basketball? We're, we're playing our best basketball the last two, we've played our best basketball the last two weeks that we've, that we've played all season. We could still get a lot better. And I think that's the, the exciting thing about this team is that it's, it's still our first season together, right? And, you know, like, you know, Isaiah Dees, you know, struggled in the first half, bounced back, had a good second half. Jared Kimbrough, we got to get him going a little bit. We got to get Miles Brookings going a little bit. If we get our other forwards playing at a high level, I think that gives us our best opportunity to, to, to be playing our best basketball. Um, you know, end of the game, I thought our guys looked a little fatigued. We got to address that. We got to figure out a way to, to, to get these guys, um, you know, in a little bit better shape as, as the season goes on. Maybe, you know, practice, you know, a little bit harder, um, shorter, but short and sweet, but go a little bit harder in terms of going up and down. In, in practice, we've done a lot of stuff in the half court. So today on game day, they're going up and down for the first time in a couple of days felt like it affected our wind a little bit. So as the season goes on, we're just going to always evaluate where we are and what we need to do to keep getting better.